I believe it's pronounced. Yanosik. I believe it's pronounced. Yanosik. But I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to play it now. We'll see how this goes. I do like the art. Can't really explain why. Great way to finish that sentence. Huh. It's a free game. There's no money exchange to get this. It's on Steam for absolutely zero dollars. Or, you know, whatever people use in Eastern European countries. Still zero of those. And it does that. Alright. So, Janosik, the Metroidvania game. I can see the castle of the scoundrel Count Von Zur, the bastard thought of setting ambushes. I'll show him the ambush. I'm just afraid he will start torturing my comrades before I can free them. I guess that's our titular character. Um, but yeah, I played a little bit of the sequel at PAX last year. Um, and I got to talk to the Polish game developers. They sent a lot of them. A lot of the Polish game developers to... Uh... Well, that's what it does. To PAX. So you could see all the cool Polish games. Mostly board games that were translated. They're being translated into video games. Uh, but this one kind of stood out as a weird, I believe, one-man Metroidvania game. Possibly more, I'm not sure. Haven't beaten it, don't see, haven't seen the credits. Um, but it was made by a fellow who was a wedding photographer at the beginning of COVID and had to find something to do with himself because you can't do a lot of wedding photography when people aren't allowed to go outside. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, you can't use left stick. Like, sometimes the controls are a little weird in this and its sequel. So, I played the sequel at PAX, it was still cool. Um, but yeah. I don't know too much about it. I don't know too much about Yonosik, other than what I looked up, that he is the Slavi, uh, the Slavic, Slovakian Robin Hood, and was a real person, apparently, uh, who was also really executed. But very popular in culture, apparently. Like, lots of TV series and books. Kind of like you'd expect Robin Hood. Just a character you can just throw in wherever you feel like it, I guess. Uh, I wanted to explore down there, actually. But aside from the very beginning part that I just played, I haven't seen much more of this game. Um, I've seen more of its sequel, where he meets up with a vampire or a werewolf almost off the bat. Oh, hey, I want that. Read the map! That's where I am, in the green section. Cool. I'm in Barbican. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the more or less the, the gist of what I, I even know about this. So... And it works on my Mac, which is the other important detail. Always the other important detail, even if it's a little bit clunky. This is being run natively on the Mac, thankfully, unlike the last games I played. The last game I played, which was being run... Oh, hello. I didn't realize he looked like he was friendly until he poked me. Alright, what's this? Restore health. What button is that? Oh, that was the button. So, yeah. Hmm, weird. But, you know, price can't be beat. And the sequel did look cool. I mean, who doesn't want to team up with a vampire and attack sheep? You can't attack sheep. Yeah, I got the feeling he'd be a, a thrower. Something about how it was. Of course, you cannot attack the sheep or the horse. The horses are innocent. The sheep, however. Dastardly fellas. I definitely want to rescue him. And get all the monies. Oh yeah, there's even a meter for rescuing these dudes. Oh, he... Well, I didn't see that coming. Hmm. Dude has a lot of HP. I'm just going to wander off. As he keeps yelling at me. Well. Maybe there's a trick to killing these guys that I'm not aware of. Whatever I'm doing doesn't work. Alright, well I'm just going to try to do something else then, because apparently rescuing my buddy there is impossible with the sword I have. 
Oh, he's decided to move. And it's just going to do that every time I go through an area. What it looks like on my side is the whole screen resizing itself every single time, which looks weird and is weird. Um, I also don't actually know how long this game is. Could be really short. Free games tend to be on the short side. What's up, Squiggles? How you doing? I don't have any Polish ads, unfortunately. Maybe one day. Maybe next week. You know, I just knew that was going to be fire at me. Layout broken. Oh, you're right, it is! Oh, shoot. I didn't think to fix that. Uh, well, um... I think this actually will work. Let me try, let me fix this. Kind of. Copy, transform. Uh, transform. Paste, transform. This is good so far, trust me, trust me, this will work. Edit, transform. And then go here, whoop. And move it down. No, not quite, move it there. You can see we're OBS experts here. There we go. Lay layout fixed. Bam. Done. I almost never do OBS stuff on stream because I'm terrible at it. I almost got in there. Oh. Alright, well, he can't hit me with his stupid axes. Oh, I got the dog too. Cool. Nuts. So, fun story. I was trying to set this up beforehand, and uh, I ran into a small problem. That small problem being that uh, the game audio settings don't persist. So once I died, it cleared all of the audio settings I put in game. So I had to go and fix up the audio again using a different mechanism. I don't have a key. These dudes do not behave in a predictable manner. They sometimes can walk off edges, but sometimes can't. Uh, this might be a very short life. Problem solved. Oh, good. I needed the health. Hmm. Ooh, I got a big gem. Looking forward to actually getting another power. Curious how that's going to work. Didn't actually expect this to be kind of a stealth game. Oh, that one has 2 HP. Of course that one has 2 HP. Why would I not expect that one to randomly have 2 HP? Oh, I'm getting called. That's not ideal. Of course I accidentally cut that off. Who called me? Eh, one sec. Well, that was a fun phone call. Apparently, there is a leak in the apartment someplace around my apartment. Not necessarily in my apartment, but in a related domain. So they needed to, the super wanted to go and check. So I gave him permission to do so, because I'm not there. Nothing quite like water problems. Dang it. I thought he only took two. You never know. Maybe they have fancier hats. But like, those took two. I just don't know. Alright, I opened that door. Floaty jumper. I really want to rescue a dude. Alright, my, uh. Not, my brilliant plan hasn't been so brilliant so far. Alright. What's on here? Oh, he hit me. 
noticing a pattern of this. It's truly the dark souls of Slavic countries. Mostly because of the rolling. I struck the thing out of it. Still got me. Okay. If you're saying Dovakin, it might be Dragonborn. Wait, what? Now this guy gets stuck here. Let me guess. It'd be impossible to kill him. Nope, it was very possible. Ooh, secret room with something to restore my health. That would have been lovely when I got slammed in the face. Oh, we got our buddy. We have restored one dude. Now we have to fight a spider. Who has like a million HP, apparently, and does not have to stay with his web. Well, that sucked. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. Oh. No, that doesn't just hurt, it also glues you to the ground. I kinda wonder if that health bar works. I do want the big shiny health thing, and I do want... Oh god. Okay, yes it does, it just doesn't update it. immediately. It updates every end hits. It's probably worth a life to find that out. Sure wish I had other options. Solution, as usual in most games, is just rush. Keep up pressure. Was there like a way to tell how many of those I have? Oh, it doesn't have a map of this place. That like, wasn't what I was hoping for. But this toucan wants to hurt me too. Anything on top of the roof? Not really. It looks like an evil toucan. An evil spider. Our dude's actually pretty badass. I'm gonna step on clouds. Green gem. I'm in this interesting secrety place. I got a lot of money. I don't even know like if I need money in this game. One doesn't complain about getting extra money, but you know. And now the weird loading. Don't think I want to go that way. Quite yet. There's still things I need to do in the other worlds. Um, that door's still open. I wonder if they also get like some level of immunity when you're encroaching in their space. Smart dog! Stepping right outside of the axe range, or the sword range. Alright, so this didn't open. I was kind of hoping something would have magically opened it, but I guess not. My bonus health, this is becoming a lot easier. Oh, maybe it was that? Hmm. Oh, I see now. I can see how many of those I have. There's also a gun. Man, I want a gun. Hmm. Okay. So I can get out here now, which isn't as interesting as it was a minute ago. Oh, I think I see. Wait. We're getting to the food room. Right. <laughs> There's friendly fire. Oh, do not roll into axes. I have learned an important lesson. Do not roll into axes. Can't jump through that. Huh. Okay, well that's got a switch. Maybe that's... Oh, I see. I come over here. Maybe I already did that, which does look depressed. Sometimes, 
they charge all the way off. Other times it doesn't. Still weird. Still very weird. Alright, so got the kitchen. I was kind of hoping that would give me some better information, but I guess it didn't. I still want that diamond, though, now that I've seen it. It's there, man. I want it. Go through here. Yeah, I guess... So much for the hopes of that. Oh, also, fun fact. While you can apply the, uh, the volume switches, it doesn't work on the sword noise. I... It's a weird bug. I'm gonna assume, like, nobody actually tried using any of the settings. Really. Ow. I walked so far around. Hmm. But how can I jump my gun? I get that. Nope. I do not see an easy way to do that. love the friendly fire feature. That is so fantastic. More games should have such things. Um, I want to go here. We could try going down. Bubbles equal oxygen. That's good. Let's go try freeing our compatriot. Yeah, see? Rush down. Dear boss, it's good to see you. Can you take these shackles off me? Okay, I'll cut it soon. When I free you, run away to our secret hideout in the mountains. Yes, boss. Oh. Did he just fly away? Is that a thing those guys can do? Kind of impressive, really. Bizarre, but impressive. Right, um, guess let's try the underwater, because I do have the map for this place. And there's not much place left, and if I get some cool, like, if I get my gun, maybe that'll help. Noticed I have no ability to harm these fish. Like in Commander Keen, where all you can do is kind of hope that the fish don't eat you. you still got me one. Thankfully, these fish don't seem to actually be interested in fighting me so much as just swimming around. They're not dope fish. Alright, well. It was a trade-off I had to make. Yanosek needed hit breath. Alright, well, we did actually liberate all of the things over here that I can tell. As far as I can tell. Look at the map. Apparently the red door is probably a big hint about where I should be going, given I've already been there. Still so awkward. Oh, I could have opened the door from the other side. Note to self, open the door from the other side. So here's my question. Does no gold does not respawn. Gold does not respawn at all. So interesting. But all the enemies of course do, because that's how games work. Can't actually drop off of the ladder early. I don't know how you're supposed to get down there. So I'm not gonna worry about it. And then we'll go into the next door. Just seems like the way to go. Oh boy, everyone loves the ceiling spin. Oof. Wait. Ah, oh, they explode into poison. Should like a good place to have a gun. Oh, hey, look, a gun. <laughs> oh, wait, I have limited ammo. Mistakes were made. And... Wait, what? Just give me more gun? Huh. Not complaining. Guess we'll play around with the gun a little bit, because I know I'm not gonna be able to keep it forever. Didn't see that coming. Guess I must have accidentally killed that one before it spawned and it dropped a gun. I say this is not my favorite of the enemies I've faced so far. Shiny. Oh, drop. Oh, 
Gallon hold right? Yeah, okay, that's a lock. Alright, we got it. Unfortunately, if I can have gun, that means other people can have gun. So we'll probably have to deal with that sooner or later. Need a fancy key for that. Can I get on tree? No. Uh, let's try this tree. Oh, it gets me over here. That's a different kind of sigil. wonder what that means. Uh, oh, this looks like a pleasant place. Oh, there's a cat! Hello, cat. I'm glad I cannot do violence to the cat. And we have a potion person. <laughs> Hello, Yonosik. Perhaps I have something interesting for you. How do you know my name? I am a witch, and witches know different things. Besides, you're famous, or rather, infamous. Ha ha ha. You mean I kidnapped the Count's wife? That's it. What a feat. Ha ha ha. Back to business. I have seven mile boots for sale. I'll give them away for 400 coins. Bring the gold and the boots will be yours. <laughs> You're back for the magic boots? Hope you got 400 coins. Yes. Thanks to these boots, you will be able to jump higher. Just press the jump button twice. The witch thanks you with a helpful smile, giving Yonosik a pair of old dirty boots. Alright, well, that happened, but, you know, I got double jump out of it, so I think it's a good trade. <laughs> What's up? Are the boots okay? Oh yes, they can do it, but, hmm, you're a witch, and witches know spells. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Do you want a love potion? Has the Countess not succumbed to your charm? <laughs> no, after all, the Countess already paid the ransom, and I've let the Countess go. Did you let the Countess go free? And where is she? She must be at the castle, for at least a week. This witch thinks for a moment, composing her head in her head what she has learned. She talks more to herself than Yonosik. Yonosik. So the Count paid the ransom, but the Countess did not return. Interesting. But, but, you asked me about a spell, and I just remembered I have something just right here for you. The magic ring. Ooh, the magic ring? What does the ring do? This ring is called the Sturgeon's Lucky Ring. Enchanted, of course. Thanks to it, you'll be able to breathe underwater like a fish. The price is not less than 500 coins. Come back to me when you're a little, mm, richer. Alright, well, so that's how this game kind of progresses. I buy my <laughs> upgrades from this witch. That's interesting, at least. Alright, well, may, say, may as well save since I have my double jump boots. It certainly gives me an awful lot more latitude to do things. And woo, money. Oh. The sound effects in this game are kind of weird. Like the weird, like, clunky hand-dropping noise. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Welcome, friend, to my home. My name is Toro. I am a fencing master. What can I do for you for? Famous Master Toro, I am Yonosik, and I would like to humbly ask you to learn to fight with a sword. Ah, I see you are no strangers to good manners. I would love to teach you a lesson. The first lesson is the agility lesson. It will cost you 400 coins. In this lesson, you will learn how to avoid missiles fired at you. I can't afford that. If you change your mind, come back to me. All right, well, wasn't enough, fellow. Like, why is it, oh. Trying to figure out why that noise was happening and having to no useful conclusions. Nice parallax. Oh, wait. I don't have time to enjoy the view. <laughs> okay, so I can't get up around there. This is open, though, right? Yeah, okay. This is worthwhile. Ooh, I got the map. What are those? Are those peoples to rescue? Or are they spiders? Huh. Uh, not going to worry too much about that. Okay, it's a person. <laughs> Holy smoke, who are you? Yanosik, at your service. Yanosik? This Yanosik? I am Jan. I'm a prisoner here. Don't hurt me. Jan sighs nervously. A prisoner? Ah, oh, nice prison. And beautiful views. I have never heard of a prison like this before. Well, because I'm an inventor, I have privileges. Because I am developing a weapon for Count Von Zur. The new weapon. For this rep a new weapon for this reptile? What is this weapon? Well, it will be a quick-firing pistol. But uh, if you want, you can upgrade your pistols, you know, so you have equal chances when you meet the Count. Eep! Jan, terrified by the boldness of his own words, blocked his mouth with his own hand. Don't be scared, because I like what you say. I will gladly accept your offer. Here are my guns. 
What a beautiful, what beautiful workmanship. First class. I think I can double their load for a start. It will cost 350 coins. Jan's eyes are greedy. What? 350 coins? Sorry, but even in prison, I need money. But let me be my loss. 320 coins. I'll give you 300 coins. 300 coins? I agree, Jan. Despite bargaining, seems quite pleased. <laughs> and more confident. Price agreed. Janosik and Jan. Shake hands. All right, cool. So I've got like three upgrades I can get, all of which seem like they're pretty neat if I can get them. Um, double capacity for pistol seems like a good way to go. You know, maybe I shouldn't shoot the explosive barrel with my pistol. Just a general idea. I think I would have learned it from Doom, but here we are. I can go down here for free. Open a door or two. Don't have a key. Deno Sick? Is that how you're supposed to pronounce his name? I looked it up online trying to guess, but I found like three or four different uh, names. Different ways of pronouncing it. But I did figure you would correct me if I was wrong, so. Hmm. Can't beat gun. The fellow who made this just kind of did his own folly work. Like, he just hit a glass, and that's how he got that noise. The jumps in this game are a little clunky. Alright, these seem breakable. Free him. What? No cutscene? That's BS. Wait. More gun. Do like a good gun. What? I didn't roll properly. Oh, he wasn't even up there. Alright, well, I got a key at least. The Pulse Punch Nation has a sound that doesn't exist in English. SI turns into S with a diactric on top. Yeah, there is no way I can pronounce that without extra information on how to pronounce it. But today I learned. Oh, wait, there was nothing else over there. big limiting factor in this game is keys. Oh, hey, this is, this is a freebie. And it just flies off. I love it. Ah. Oh, I'm back at the beginning of the level. Okay. Cool. So glad the map doesn't uh, freak out. I think I need a Sturgeon's Ring for that really afford anything new yet. That's gonna help. Ooh, there's a fancy one. I don't... Oh, snakes jump in this game. <laughs> I know nothing about how this is supposed to work, but I guess snakes in Poland jump. I am, I am very happy about this discovery. Plenty of gun, I guess I could just shoot him. Ow. That thing just shot itself and died. Yeah. You know, I was seeing Indiana Jones rather than just falling, but that works too. Need to be more careful. I guess I could use my healing pot, but should I? With the amount of time they take on wind up, it's better just to go and punch them in the face. I don't know why I find they jump when they're dead sometimes. I find it very charming in some way. I 
find the snakes charming. That's a line, isn't it? Oh god. Okay. It's interesting that those are also dangerous to the snakes. How big is this water area? It's terribly large. I probably can get away with... Actually, I'm not happy to do it this way. That's solid. That's... Oh, alright, I can't hurt those. Um, am I dead? I might be just be dead. Okay, it does heart damage first. That's good to know. I got lucky there. And that opened that door, but there's still area here to deal with. Who maintains these things? It's gotta be a pain to keep them uh, lubricated underwater. I think I can make out the right side of this fish doesn't. Alright, well, that worked out rather poorly, but... <laughs> Just jump right into it, Pat. Just jump right into it. I really wanted more health. That, that was my excuse. <laughs> the environmental damage is just funny. I don't know why. Oh, hello. Oh, and skeletons that throw their own skulls at you. I have to say, that might be a new one to me. Maybe I've seen it like a Castlevania game or something. And more gun if I need more gun. Shortcut. Worth a shot, but it's not a shortcut. I got 400. I guess I need to start thinking about what I want to spend my 400 on. I could go for the extra gun upgrade, which does seem like a good idea since I don't know. Like, you never know when you're going to get more bullets. Bullets being kind of important. Is this a. Well, it's nothing. I cannot air roll. I can't do an air roll roll. I just want my snakes to keep jumping. It pleases me inordinately how the snakes jump. Alright. Cool. Checking if I've gone all of the places I can see. I think I have, aside from the upper right. So that's good. Uh, I guess also this water here. Ooh, there's glowfish! And evil fish. Gonna wait for him. And angry dude. I'm rolling in cash. Okay, that's the wrong kind. I'm rolling in cash now, actually. I think I want the witch's ring. I don't know, I feel like the, the ring of the sturgeon could be useful. Being able to roll through projectiles would also be useful. But I feel like in terms of Metroid uh, progression, the witch's sturgeon ring is the way to go. Really hope that the sequel doesn't have this problem where it resizes the screen every single time it starts. It's really awkward. <laughs> Stuff, but the boots okay? Yeah, we did this. Oh, there's a lot of lines here before we get to this. I right, have to read this. <laughs> to come back for the sturgeon ring, it is 500 coins. Yes. Ah, I forgot to mention that the ring has a side effect. If you forgot to take it off, you will turn into a fish during the full moon. Hope you like water. <laughs> well, that's a warning. I'm digging this. Okay, so I th think I want to go back here because I can get that diamond now. A diamond man. In fact, I think I can just get it from the outset because I don't think I actually need to. Yeah, I can just jump to the diamond. There was no trickery. 
convenient. Um, the idiot said. Oh, I could probably just walk to the right there. Yep, that answers that question. I was kind of curious how you got down to this bottom part, and there's the map. What we've discovered is, aside from, I think, one door, I've done everything. I might have just skipped that area over there. Interesting. Well, here's our buddy. He gets a cutscene. The last dude didn't. Oh, that's a floor. Right, you... I need to buy that upgrade. Alright, well, that worked out. Didn't even need double jump for that one. Just to not do that. Oh, I have gun now. Answer is a gun. If that don't work, use more gun. Wait, how does this map work then? Oh, it says that there's a gap. There it is. Huh, these maps are actually a lot better than I was expecting from Metroidvania. Usually Metroidvania maps leave off important things to force you to search for things better. But this apparently can reveal secret passages, which is fascinating. Huh. Well, I think with that, I've actually exploited this entire area and I no longer need to be here. But, that also means there's probably a spot in the first area where there's stuff I can get. Save in case I do something stupid. Or the power goes out, or you never know. I guess actually the power went out, I'm, I have 100% battery now, so it wouldn't be a problem. Ah, there's one gold up there to he who dares. I actually think there probably isn't much here where I couldn't have gotten to it before. Still looks weird every time I look over there. Um, yeah, this is where we need to be. So, I'm taking the next door. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Hey, stop that. Oh, also I can go this way. I don't have enough money to buy any of the upgrades, so we'll wait on that. I think this is where the inventor was. Oh, he nicked me. I see how he did it. Alright. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna go for shooting. Oh, that's cute. Quite like the conjunction of lava and moving platforms. Okay. Free my buddy with my cutscene. I gotta say, I, I really like the lava flow being blocked. That's like a cute trick. I think I see a boss ahead. This is a problem. He doesn't reload very fast, either. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, still more to go. These guys look like they have magnets. Why do they have magnets? Like, they really look like they're carrying magnets on sticks. I have to assume there's a reasonable reason for this, but I don't know what it could possibly be. I get for trying to be nice to it. Right, I'm free. I don't know why the dragons are giving me the most trouble. Free just a bunch of people. Still need more monies. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to shoot. And there definitely was. 
like the very top of the screen. Alright, so we've got the gold key now. Tortura. Tortura does not like being shot. Fortunately, Alright, so here's... I think those might be immortal. Yeah, I think they are. That's unideal. So he throws his head, and then he charges. I could also, like, bait these skeletons into attacking him for me, I think. That might be an option. Not an important option, but an option. I think that the way this fight's supposed to be difficult is you're supposed to spam and end up hitting the skeletons, which end up adding another thing to dodge, which I'm just not going to do. Of course, I'm not actually hitting him either, so maybe maybe my plan's a little bit flawed. So maybe I just might have magically gotten more done. Okay, he also walks slowly forward in that first bit. That's more like it. Come on. Also, a lot of help. Could, of course, also, like, do things that get them killed quicker. Quicker. Quicky. Quicker. Ugh. Victory! Health increase! big is this man's, like, group? Alright, well... I acquired a golden key. Okay, I know where I can go now. Um, this way... Um, no, I don't have money to buy either upgrade. That's disappointing. I don't even need to go up this way. That's what's making the weird pan noise. Apparently this is the wrong kind of key? I'm legitimately... I don't know why that worked. I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Okay, so now... I came through this door. Oh, I guess that's what it does. These are all... These signals tell you where which area it goes to. So this was the skull area. So now this is the portcullis area. It's a very linear, oddly linear game so far. Um, in, with the double jump, I can just do this. <laughs> I feel like I skipped part of the game somehow. I guess they probably could have gotten to the part I'm at without double jump. So would you want to? Is this guy gonna hurt me? Oh, hey, hey boss. Hey, Kronka. Good to see you. What happened to you? I barely escaped from the damn dungeon. This dungeon has been inhabited by a dragon! By the dragon? Seriously? Yes, the water dragon. This beast flooded the dungeon with water and ate all the guards. All in all, thanks to this, I was able to escape. But unfortunately, three of us are still stuck. In these dungeons. I'm afraid the dragon will eat them. Don't worry, leave it to me, and I'll deal with the beast. Well, at least the fire's not gonna hurt me. Anything else is gonna say? I'll just fly off! Okay! I'm not going to worry too much about that. Oh, whoa, is that the... Something weird happened over there. The water level changed or something. Maybe maybe I just imagined it. I sure would like some gun. I can just slide through. Oh, brilliant. Hey, look! It's that boss critter. Debossified. bossified 
All right, well, what I've learned is leave the boss critter, Xbox critter alone. He is terrible. Maybe I should pay for that training to be able to dodge projectiles. Feels important. All right, can't get in here. Oh, I have. You have to be able to have the double jump. You have to have the double jump to, be able to do this part. I don't think the enemies actually do random drops, so fighting these things is not terribly in my interest. If only get hit once per floor of that, that's not the end of the world. Oh, got the map. Um, okay, so that's where I am. Let's not get axed. Sometimes these only take two, then it takes three. I do not understand why that happens in this game. Um, all right, I've already been on this side of things. I'm gonna go over there, save, unlock the door. Is that? That was, in fact, an evil mushroom. Get the gun. Use gun, because I probably won't get to keep it. Right, so I have to go around into the water, which is fine, because I can turn into a fish on the full moon. It's kind of surprising it gives you that upgrade so early, if you if you so choose it, but there were other upgrades that were reasonable. I can also afford the gun now. Would like the projectile roll, though. I have to come in. I'll have to think about that when I get there, but I think I made the right choice, at least for being able to proceed in the game. Because, like, if I bought the wrong one, I would have to do this section under tighter uh, air constraints. Ooh, that looks like a lot of money. I want a lot of money. Well, that wasn't smart. And that, on the other hand, appears to have been smart. So I can swim over. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, there was something there. Okay, I understand that now. So that's where the water, a water dragon is. It's one of the spots he's at. Good enough. Oh, actually, the opposite of good enough. Let's free my buddy before I get hit by something else. Oh. Beautiful. What is with the health system in this game? I am legitimately baffled. Like, sometimes it seems to make sense, and other times it's like, nah. You know, these usually take two to hit, but now you're, you need to do three. Okay, it's, it's dead now. Alright, so basically all that's up here is the key, it seems. Nobody likes bats. That's always the most annoying enemy type in any given game. Somehow. You just know. It's gonna be bats. When we're playing DD, it was always the fire bats. That was one of the enemy types we're guaranteed to run into. And the fire bats were always the worst in any given combat. Didn't even matter if they were actually bats or on fire. The fire bats were always the worst. Batman likes them? I suppose. I don't know, not everybody actually likes them. I mean, they might give them rabies. He likes bats thematically, but I doubt he actually likes them in real life. How you doing, uh, chunk of chunks? <laughs> wonder if you're one of the few people who actually follow this game on Twitch. I briefly, briefly wondered if this was the right category to actually run in as opposed to games and demos, but I decided, since there were 69 people following this category, I had to choose it. Did notice the sequel has no people following the categories. That's a shame. Good? How am I? I'm doing good! Apparently there's a water leak somewhere near my apartment, but otherwise I can't complain. But watch Dr. the Witch again, see if she has another upgrade. I'm playing on a Mac, that's why the weird resolution changes are happening, I think. I think if you play full screen it doesn't happen, but because capturing full screen doesn't work so hot, 
I mean, it works fine, but it's harder to do than playing in a window, so it's weird. Welcome back. I mentioned I offer excellent healing potions. The one, a cost of one is 50 coins. Do you want to buy? No. If you need any healing potions, visit me. No. All right. Recommended. Oh, okay. Interesting. Recommendation engines work in mysterious ways. I have no idea what this is. This is a Metroidvania game made by a Polish developer um, who didn't start off as a developer. He started off as a wedding photographer, <laughs> of all things. Um, but during COVID, he didn't get to do a lot of weddings. And so he uh, decided to try his hand at game development. And so that's it. Sometimes I bless you. It's true. Sometimes. I, do I want better gun or do I want a... Uh, anyway. Oh Let's go with the... Do with the projectile dodge roll. Excellent, my friend. You have made tremendous progress and learned how to roll agile. Now when the enemy shoot projectiles at you, all you have to do is roll through them. I think that's going to be a worthwhile upgrade. Thanks for the follow. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, I played the sequel to this that's under development still um, at PAX last year because uh, they had a big group of Polish developers that were just there. And uh, I like the look of the play of the sequel. I figured I should give this a shot. Is really the long story short. Um, some interesting stuff over there, but largely like conversions of board games into uh, actual games, into video games. Okay, actually, I need to go that way. I really wish I hadn't bothered. Um, Janosik is a real, like, folkloric character, but was also a real person, apparently, and he was definitely executed for being a highwayman of sorts, but definitely sort of a Slovakian... I didn't want to use gun. I didn't want to do that either. Mistakes were made. Um, Robin Hood, from what I read, which isn't much of it. But a character you'd see in, like, TV shows and stuff. Very, apparently very popular over there. The um, developer compared him to Highlander. I think was what he was trying to convey to me. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Or perhaps he is a Highlander. I'm not sure if there's Highland over in that area of the world, but you know, if there is, he might be one. I keep dashing backwards. Let's just go in and out and avoid that problem of the mushroom exploding. Or I, I could have done that a lot smarter. Oh well. Up to five health pods. Okay, you can just explode on me. Probably should use one. But health is pretty cheap in this game. Due to the plentiful checkpoints. I'm not really worrying too much about it. But I don't wonder if I've ever seen a Metroidvania with a static health system before. You have like discrete units of health as opposed to numbers and arbitrary health bars. I don't think it's a very common choice. I don't need to kill that because there's no reason to. Yeah, I'm not killing him. There's no reason to kill him. He's just there. But I've already got the double jump. I've already got the ability to breathe underwater indefinitely, so no Sonic-esque problems. So I'm not complaining about that one. Easily worth the 400 I paid. I guess this also means I don't have the dodge roll anymore, because apparently I didn't save between here and there. Hmm. I can afford both now. It might, eh, it's worth it to go back, I think, if I, since I can afford both. Um, do feel a bit dumb for not saving, but here we are. And so, over here... Then I can buy... Fencing Lesson. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh. Oh, God. Favorite student, are you ready for lesson two? Oh, did I buy the lesson two? Oh, no, I already, okay. In this lesson, you'll learn how to destroy projectiles with your sword. The price of this lesson is 500 coins. Oh, I'd love that. Jeez. It's a very clunky situation, unfortunately. You seem to be running out of money. Unfortunate. Well, I'll pick up the gun upgrade anyway. We'll see if this guy has another upgrade after better gun. <laughs> yep. Fantastic. I'm on it already. Alright, they're ready now. Here you go. <laughs> Hello, John. Do you know what? I have a question. You say you're trapped here in a prison, but there's a ladder you can use to go down. What is this? Fake prison? It seemed that all the air had gone out of Jan. He became very sad. Well, because I can't walk, 
It's because of that bastard Count Von Zer. He wanted to be sure I would not run anywhere. And the latter is probably just to taunt me. <laughs> but, yeah, let's get back to business. I've been thinking about your pistols, and I know how to increase their payload again. The magazine capacity of the pistol will increase to 16. Ooh. Rounds. Of course, not for free. Let's say 450 this time. Okay? 400. What do you think? Yeah. This upgrade costs 400, and from what I can see is 10 coins. Unfortunately, weapons are an expensive investment, but I can assure you they are worth the money. I gotta come back when I'm a bit mm, richer. There's a fixed amount of money in this game, because the coins do not respawn, so... Definitely something to keep in mind. Um, the way this game works is so weird. I do wonder if it's actually a standard engine, or if it's something that the guy actually worked on. There's just nothing I can do about this. It just does that. Okay. Let's see, where was the next path? I wanted to go down... Past the mushroom. The infected mushroom. Down the hallway. Oh, I don't need to go this way. I need to go... I can go around. There we go. Oh, I have a key. I want to be right here. Problem solved. Yeah, right now we're going and rescuing all of his buddies. Uh, they were kidnapped while he was taking a leak. That was the intro to the game. And so now we will rescue them all and then take down Count Von Kapp. Or Count Von Zer, I suppose. Game's clearly leading up to a fight with him. The when and where. Well, we'll have to find out. Definitely want the sword projectile upgrade next, I think. I think having 16 bullets would be nice, but certainly not required. You know, the first time you do that, it fails. What the heck? Oh, he's fake. That's nifty. Oh, this is dangerous. This be a dragon sword. two left. I can do this. I saw the water dragon pop up here earlier. I don't know what rhyme or reason for it, but I am happy Not without the dragon coming by. Dang jumping snakes. <laughs> Environmental damage. It is a grand thing. Um... I definitely want to go down here, actually. Just free my buddy. And then we can open this. Actually get more gun. There's a lot of gun in this game. Shoot underwater? No, that'd be too easy. Oh. I was thinking, like, maybe there was some, like, secret up here, but I guess not. Dude looks like he belongs in number munchers. That's, this is a secret. That could have looked wrong. That's how I knew. Didn't see that coming. Grab my, oh, I didn't re-equip myself. Try this again with less dumb. It's a very safe area, all things considered. Considering I can't run out of breath. It was just confusing. In fact, this looks like a shortcut from somewhere else. I'll just wait. I can afford to be patient. That's shiny. I want that. That's a health upgrade over there. Oh, my bitrate's been bad. What's going on here? Hmm... It looks like it's recovered. Which is unhappy, but it looks fine. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Did that again. I needed to stop doing that. Okay, there we go. Everything's fixed up. Nothing's bad. 
What is this? Is it an enemy? What's oh, a duck with a... I think I killed the duck. But it was worth 500 things. Definitely wanted that duck. Oh, I need this. There's something down there, too. Okay. That was like a king duck. Badass king duck. Lots of gold. I can afford so many. I can afford all the upgrades I know of now. That's pretty sweet. This is probably important, too. I must have procced it earlier. Weird. Okay. Oh, he's here again. I don't know why he does that. Because did I not? I must, have, I must have died and not freed him last time. How odd. Well, there's something down here. Let me fix that, too. Hmm. Oh, I need to go the other way for that. Oh, in fact, this is probably the right direction to have gone. So we'll see in a minute if I'm right. I have the gold key, so I can go that way. There's a dragon in there. There's a door past there, so if I want to collect more uh, stuff, I probably should do this first. Okay, yeah, that's, that's all the stuff here. Alright, resave, and dragon fight. The dragon's name is Emerald. Okay, you can shoot Emerald, that's nice. Kind of reminded a little bit of the boss fight, of the dragon boss fight from uh, Zelda 2. Okay, oh no, that's terrible. Oh, I messed that up really bad. Oh, hello. All right, there's extra health, so I guess I can try to... There's health down here, so I can, I can do that. All right, let's, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, that was a full health upgrade, re uh, restore too. Not doing a lot of damage yet, though. Almost out of bullets. Really wish I had grabbed the gun earlier. And they're gone. Hooray, that was fun while it lasted. Let's not try to jump. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, so far so good. I kind of wonder if, like, maybe coming over here is better. Let's see, where does it rise? Oh, it's going to rise on the far edge, so I can't really do anything to him when he does that. Yeah. Because I can't really sword him. I think I can only sword him if he comes up on this edge. Or, yeah, no, really, that's it. Really wish I hadn't wasted all the bullets. Would have been smart. Dragon, could you please do something different? Off. damage because I think it's a, a decent trade-off having, having to wait so many iterations for this. Oh, hey. He did it. Oh, interesting. If he starts with spit, I don't think he's going to slam on me. Oh, actually, I just sorted through it. Victory! Fuck! <laughs> that was the dumbest way to die. Oh, okay. Well, mistakes are made. At least I know how to kill it now. Oh, he takes damage from those things. Interesting. So if I go swim... Oh, that's probably the intended solution. You, you jump down. Huh. I've changed my mind about that being the intended solution. Let's go back to gun. Gun seems to work pretty well. Yeah. 
Or just sword. Sword also works well. Just don't expect him to do that. And that's why we went down at two health instead of one. So what we've learned this time is after killing the dragon, go to the save point and not try to kick up the health. Yeah. Nothing down there. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing down there either. Alright, we got all the things that I care about here. And the actual dragon horde reward. Six health. So I don't have to watch the second scene again. We'll do that. Alright, that'll put me on the other side of the linear door. So then we could go to the other spot. Um, let's go spend my money. This puts me right next to the gun guy. Let's let's get more gun. Okay, is this the right spot? Yes, it is. Okay. This did not really didn't help so much in terms of distance travel. But it is okay. <laughs> We were to talk to him about that. Jen, my friend, it is a pleasure doing business with you. Does he have... <laughs> Eureka, my rapid-fire work mechanism is working. Uh, Jan Osik looks at John with a sly twinkle in his eyes. You know, Jan, John, I'm very glad that I met you on my way. It's a really powerful weapon. It can fire 32 missiles in a second, piercing a target like a sieve. I know it's in my hand. I can't just give it to you. I have two conditions. What are these conditions? First, the price, 500 coins, no less. Secondly, will you send something to the Count for me? Well, it depends upon what. Bullet in head. I think it can be done. I'll be back when I get gold. You know what, rapid fire. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here. Remember our agreement. I hope you will send something for me to the Count. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot improve your weapons anymore, but I can replenish your ammo, totally free. Thank you very much. All right, cool. So I've got all of the gun now. 32 bullets is a lot of bullets per up for like refill. Might regret that instead of getting the sword to break things upgrade, but you got to go with your heart. In my heart, I wanted the gun. Ooh, this is a tall area. Alright, so I can fire two bullets at a time now. Previously, I think I can only fire one. So this is an upgrade. It's like a wizard right here. Hey, psst. That's the first sound effect like that. You want to buy something? A mysterious hooded figure emerges from the shadows. Oh god, Janosik! Janosik! Jumped up surprised. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am, but if you're planning on blowing the Count's butt... Blowing the Count's butt? I don't want to blow the Count's butt. I'll be happy to help. I think you will like it. I have bombs. The price is 500 coins. Take? I, I guess. Oh, you don't have gold? It doesn't matter. I have a free motto for today. A little bomb. So much fun. Did, did I get a bomb? I have no idea. I assume these are bombable, but we don't have money for bombs yet, so... I gotta go find money for bombs. I guess I do regret the gun up here a little bit. Why is he self-narrating his surprise jump? I don't know, Kappa. I don't worry too much about how this game works. <laughs> how you doing? Janosik is a very strange man. Um. Oh, I might have hosed myself. Oh, that might be bad, actually. I got the map. Got that going for me. Alright, so I'm in this cloud. Oh, I can go down from there. I guess I didn't notice. Yeah, this door is bizarrely open. I suspect it probably makes more sense in its native language, but I'm afraid to touch the options in the because it might break things. 
This game has a little, has some problems. Fun, but it has some problems. Kind of feeling. I was wrong. That is not a secret wall. Secret wall. This was not a good trade-off. Not in the slightest. Alright, I blocked the projectile with my dash. Or, yeah, cool. That's the first time I've done that. I paid 500 gold, or 400 gold for that, and I've yet to use it. There we go. It doesn't take many bullets to kill those things. So, good news on that front. Now that I have so many bullets, I don't have to worry about it. The beauty of bullets. Well, beauty of gun and bullet. Having one without the other is not very useful, unless you want to bludgeon people with a gun, which is ill-advised at the best of times. Guess unless you've got a bayonet, in which case the calculus changes a bit. Looking at the map because I was confused about how I had gone about something. Things respawn a lot in this game. Let's go down this way. This looks like it's not a secret. I do have appropriate key. Excellent. I shall open up. Gun. Oh. Death bullets. No part of that was smart. Um, oh, those must be bombable surfaces. Interesting. Have I ever saved my game? Is that a thing you can do? Nope. You can load game, you cannot save game. I presume game gets saved at some point. Can't remember those guys fire death bullets. When you fire, you're kind of like oddly stuck to the ground for a half a second. It's very strange. These are my new least favorite enemy. Like, you see how he kind of gets stuck to the ground? Like, what? Like, he can't move left or right, but I can jump immediately after shooting. Okay, that, that probably is... solves a problem. Not sure it solves the problem, but it solves a problem. Okay. Also, no death bullets if you kill them from behind. No, no throwing your skull at me. Comes a point where you just have to commit. Violence. Lots of violence. Possibly gun violence. Careful. What's in that chamber? Where am I? Oh, for... Do not look at the map. When you're not ready. Things to learn. Okay, combination of irritating skelly spitters and bats. Not my favorite combo of all time. I got tricked by that one. This isn't going well. Okay, well... I thought there were death bullets, but they're definitely not. Let me just get a die again, because I screwed up from the get-go. 
Okay. That works. Just need to find the right, like, concordance. Okay. Beautiful. Kill him. Rush down. Taking one hit from the bat is acceptable. Collateral damage. Yeah, the slope spike roll interaction is a bit weird. I'm not sure what to think of it yet, because I have yet to experiment with it too much. No! And I'm back here with the exact same... Oh god, okay. With the exact amount of HP. Same amount of HP and dangerous critters. Okay. Let's just do parts better. Let's just be better at this game. I think that's the, the best advice I can give myself right now, is just be better. Good old get good. Is that water area? It is, oh! Ugh. The fact that the map screen doesn't pause is weird. Well, that was a reward for being bad at the game. Watch as I don't complain in the slightest. Alright, I'm gonna go do this. Should I bother with this loop? I mean, there's nothing here that's important aside from coinage, and I'm gonna have to do it. Again, I just noticed that that critter spawn as I got shot by it. Ooh, loads of money. All right, you know, I have potions. I should use them. I'm up to eight. You probably can't get more than a certain amount of potions, and not using them is probably dumb at this point, especially if I'm going to encounter a annoying roof spider. That's probably the smart of it. Ground. All right, whatever. I can pick these back up. Need full health to get through the really irritating part. I didn't mean to just open up. But you know what? I'll take it. I'm surprised that bat got me. Okay, this area is significantly less dangerous now. Significantly less dangerous. Alright, I got the thing. I can afford bombs now. So I'm gonna go do the thing you do when you afford bombs, which is go buy them. Because, of course, I wanna buy bombs. Hello, sketchy merchant. Fine, now listen. To use bombs, first you need to switch your inventory. To throw bomb, a bomb, you do it the same way as if you're shooting. If you want to replenish bombs, you might find them in barrels with ammunition. Okay, that's easy enough. Um, that is a little awkward. You have to hold it for a bit before it goes. I don't see. What the heck? What? What just happened? Did I get cursed or something? That was just weird. And the bombs are also weird. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. It seems like you have to hit them, so you probably need to do like the pirate thing. Drop the bomb, then hit it with a bullet. Like the cliche pirate thing, so maybe. I don't know. I'm just weirded out by that right now. Oh, hello, boulder. The boulder does more damage than I was expecting. Okay, so we're clearly doing the Indiana Jones thing. This boulder has no respect for anything. 
Like, it just goes. Can I jump over? Okay. Bye, Boulder. Oh, also, use health potion. Kind of wonder if they're... I was supposed to, you know, race it. Or else something bad happens, but looks okay. I would assume that once you get to this spot, it's okay. And therefore you don't have to worry anymore. Uh, no. The map screen wants me dead, I swear. Screen's where I am at, okay. So, there's a door here I need to find a way to open. Not what I meant to do. Oh, they do blow up after a certain period of time. How odd. Brilliant. Oh. That was actually a really good choice to go this way first. Alright, what's over here? The key? I need anyway, alright. I'll take it. Because also I learned recently that enemies can drop stuff, so it's worthwhile to kill them, though I think they only ever drop health. Or possibly ammo. Should have waited. Why would I go down there? Oh, I see why I'd go down here. That's a fake wall. And a lot of monies. Man, I got a lot of money. Um... Because there's still one upgrade I can buy, and that's the sword projectile interaction. Which I definitely think I want. I think I might want it more than the roll interaction. Solutions. There's a lot. Oh, no. That was a lot of mushrooms. It takes so long to explode. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that thing? It's shootable. Alright. Not sure what that is, but perfectly happy to uh, acquire more bombs. And bullets. The good old B&B. &B. Oh, hello. Found another secret. Ah, we're doing all, we're doing all right here. This is a bigger map than the last few. Right. This game really hates you using the map. We'll go up the tower and see what's up here. Oh, one of our buddies. Oh, that's what the axe is. I thought I was the axe for some reason. I definitely been misreading this map. They're also not these axe dudes, which I just murdered. Alright, cool. I'm loaded for bear now. This is excellent. Wizard used fire punch. Wizard continued to use fire. Janosik used bullet. Bullet is way more effective than fire punch. Cannot outsmart bullet. Okay, switch. Bomb. I don't know about those timers. It's still weird me out. But I'm happy to loot. Oh. You know, I really should not run into fire. It's not good for me. So many of these enemies just take longer because they have this, like, really lengthy death cycle you have to wait for them when they're dying. It's like I just got past him. These are, like, the weirdest sorcerers ever. All they do is fire punch. Like, they only ever learned one move, and it's not a very good one. We wait.
It takes a long time for these to blow up. It's really weird. Like, I don't want it to go ping-ponging around like last time. It, like I said, can we shoot it? But you can do the pirate. Ah, again. I do not understand what happens there, but apparently all of the hidden rooms in this area have some sort of evil ghost that eats you. Which is incredibly irritating. Especially because you can't even see it when it comes into the room. See, that one blew up a lot faster. So I'm actually a bit weirded out by that. Not have to worry about the fire breathing thing. Yeah, he's just hanging out down there now. He looks like he's like on wheels. I know he's not on wheels, but he looks like he's on wheels. Reminds me of the good old idiosyncratic Wikipedia troll, Willy on Wheels. One of my favorite of all time. Oh, this is actually a different one. Okay, that explains that. His old stick was redirecting articles to article plus on wheels. That was just that's just what he did. Damn it! I have no idea what happened there. And like I can't go into the room to see the thing, because then it, hit, it haunts me and I'm dead. Before I attempt that again, I'm going to find... No! Oh! What? <laughs> Why is this a feature? <laughs> Alright, if enemies run into the bombs, they die instantly. I think that might be the correct solution to that particular problem. It's not ideal. I think this particular run's already downed. I'm just gonna sandbag. We'll try it again. I also wanted to save the bomb. We'll, teach the, we'll t treat this as a learning experience. That was not a very good learning experience in retrospect. I don't even know what I need for yet, but I want it all. Guess I actually could go pick up the projectile. Oh, they do actually shoot projectiles, not just fire punch. Huh, ah, good for them. They're not quite as useless as I thought they were. This is working out okay. Definitely gonna walk forward to a save point before trying that stupid door again. Crap, I didn't even see him. Okay, I need a lot better jumping to do that. There we go. Now let's try that. We're gonna figure out what the deal is with that that secret. <sighs> Shouldn't have gotten hit there. It's very silly. Okay, switch to bomb. Put bomb down. Do the pirate thing. Switch to bomb. still got me. But whatever, he died, so I guess it's good? Having, like, a critter right here is really annoying. I guess I was warned by the skull and crossbones, but still. Don't walk into the 
fire. Oh, he's behind a wall. I'm gonna need more bullets. Kinda wanna come up with a, like, ridiculous setup to use the pun bullet surprise, but I also don't think it's worth it in the long run. Do I have? I do. Oh, hello. Very flammable person. Right as I give up. Right as I give up. Ooh, hey, bullets. Definitely need bullets. Yeah, it's so much easier to justify using them now that I've got, you know, 32 per load as opposed to four. Sometimes it plays the cool animation, sometimes it doesn't. How much more... Okay, there's one more dude and then there's a door. Well, I'm glad there was a save point right there. I could focus on the dude, but there's treasure. I guess we'll free our buddy. people had difficulty getting out of this room because you can tell they put a save point there because that happens so often. Put this save point instead. And actually the sandbag. Oh, nifty. I didn't even mean to hit him. It just worked out. Dingbats. Wing dingbats? No, I think that's a step too far. Alright, this has to be a secret. What's up, Havaluta? How you doing? I don't understand why that makes it work. Oh good, there wasn't something down here to kill me. I've not had good luck with secret areas in the last couple minutes. We are playing Genosic. It is a Polish game. It has been a little bit weird, but oddly compelling. I'm rescuing all my highwaymen brothers. Brother, I th brother and I think. Um, because the titular character here managed to escape being captured because he was peeing. Quite the intro cutscene. Told you about these games? Uh, this game? Yeah, probably. Uh, I played the demo of the sequel for a few minutes when I did the pack stream. Because I played the... I played the demo during the pack stream, yeah. So I saw it at PAX. And it seemed cool. Punch all the doors first. So far, the Metroidvania aspect of this has been a bit weird because you always buy your upgrades from people. So, for instance, I have 32 gun now because I bought a lot of gun upgrades. And then I had to go save a bunch of money to get the bombs. Looks way more up your alleys than Goonies. Yeah, I haven't had to do any laborious map staring at or annotating, which has been nice. But it's a, so far, very simple Metroidvania with a relatively simple plot. Our, all I've gathered so far is this guy kidnapped the Count's wife and uh, the Count's pissed off about it. But he did, in fact, like, release her, so he should be in the clear, but she's not there. She hasn't returned to the Count, so it's a problem. There's probably, like, a classical story here that if I knew the references, everything would make sense, but I don't. Um, uh, actually, wait, I don't want to go this way. This is a big map? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of maps. This is the biggest map so far. Um, here, this is the- this is one of my favorite weird features. When you transition between areas, it does this. I think if you're playing in full screen, it doesn't do that. But because I'm not playing in full screen, it does that. I don't have the map of this place, though. 
Uh, where, I wanted to go pick up an upgrade, so I want to go talk to the fencer. Who's right here? I'm God. Hello, my favorite student, Genosic. Are you ready for lesson two? In this lesson, you will learn how to destroy projectiles with your sword. The price of this lesson is 500 coins. Also, speak of price, this game is a shocking zero dollars, zero rubles, zero ruby, rupees, uh, zero Vietnamese dong, zero yen. It's zero dollars, so it's free. So you can't argue with the price. But I do, I do want this upgrade. Great, you are a born warrior. From now on, when the projectiles are flying towards you, you can destroy them with your sword. Of course, it requires a lot of precision, but I think you can handle it. Let's see what this oh, fellow says. Most talent. Here is my most talented student, Genosic. Are you ready for the final fencing lesson? In this lesson, you will learn how to deflect projectiles to hit your enemies. For the price of this lesson is 600 coins. Ah, oh, I can't afford it. This lesson costs 600 coins. Please come back when you have collected the necessary sum. Good luck. I am so buying that the moment I can get it. Absolutely. Uh, so far, there also hasn't been much backtracking. Like, once I'm done with an area, aside from, like, talking to people, it's pretty much done. Was this where I was? Yes, it was. Um, also, gold doesn't respawn, so once you get the gold, you are done. That looks... Well, these look like counts. I love to count. Oh, that is satisfying. That clank noise when the bullet hits me. When the bullet would, would have hit me. Oh, this is making this game so much better. It's like in Zelda 2, after you get the down thrust. Like, that one upgrade transforms the game from painful to awesome. I guess these are crossbow. I guess that's their shtick. Oh, hello. Well, that's cool. I was not expecting jump pads on my list of things I would find in this game. And there's a buddy to find. Oh, no cutscene. Sometimes you get a cutscene for freeing them, which is cute. It's a very short cutscene. Good old Pixel Prince of Persia. Yeah, pretty close. This is a Metroidvania, though. I don't know what the original Prince of Persia was. How you doing, Fries? Ow. I so want the reflecting thing. I am so gonna buy that the moment I can get it. Oh, wait. There's lots of money over here. Oh, that's bombs. I don't care about bombs. I need money. Ah. Well, money. Oh, I am close now. I need 11 more golds to afford projectile reflecting. Oh, also, this game has a really fun feature. Look at this. Take bomb, throw bomb! Then it bounces for a while. It might explode at some point. Oh, yeah, I probably should have done that next to bomb. Whoops. Oh, I blew someone up. It actually worked out. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Worms energy? Very, very much with that. Um, the person who made this, though, wasn't like a classical game dev type person. He was a wedding photographer in Poland, and when COVID hit, he decided to make a game. I want the reflecting thing. I'm going to so go for it right now. I'm God. All right. Reflect projectiles. Way to go! You have learned a powerful technique. From now on, if you hit a missile, it will bounce and fly towards your enemies. Oh God. Ah, hello, my dear student. Unfortunately, it has nothing more to offer. I have taught you everything that I know myself. You have become a mighty warrior. All right. I get the vague feeling that this game might not be that long in practice. Um. Door. It's hard to remember which ones of these is which. I want Graveyard. Yeah, I want to see if the bomb seller will give me any, has any opportunity for upgrades. Also, that thing is terrifying Thanks. there. I have an upgrade you might be interested in. What do you have there? I have a belt for three extra bombs. Price is 600 coins. Yeah, I can't. I'm convinced. Imagine you have six bombs. Um, how much damage this can cause. It would have been cool, dude. It would have, but I have no money. 
You know, and I know you- I know. I know you know, and I- Screen are on drugs- yes, this does not behave well. I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. <laughs> That's just how it does it. Oh, yes. Oh, so worth the price of admission. So worth it. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I played with the capture. That's just how it is. Broke your mind there. I, yeah, I had to stop and think about that. The parsing. Oop, there we go. I get the map! The map is cool in this game. It shows you a lot of things you wouldn't expect. Come on, fire another one, fire another one. Fire another one. Alright, well, it's not going perfectly. I guess there's probably be a way to get over there. Beautiful. Okay. And now he's dead. Maybe I need like a triple jump. Please explain to me known knowns, known unknowns, and unknown unknowns. Known knowns are things you know. Known unknowns are things you're uncertain about, but you're aware that you don't know the complete answer. And unknown unknowns are things that you don't know and don't know how to deal with them yet. <laughs> um, unknown knowns are things that you actually know about, but don't feel like telling people about. You are welcome. I hope this has been enlightening. This particular sentence has been brought to you by what? Donald Rumsfeld? I mean, that's definitely a, a bit of early 2000s nostalgia there. I guess also, you forgot Poland is another bit of 2000s nostalgia. But I have not forgotten Poland, for we are in Poland right now. Well, in Poland game. Why is my double jump not working? Did my boots crap out on me? For the longest time, that's all I knew about Poland. Was, you forgot about Poland. There we go. Ought to be possible to get over here. Not that I really needed to, but you know. How about known knowns? Which one holds us to be with these? Known knowns, known known knowns. Uh, known known knowns. Those are known things you know about, that you very much know about, and you're absolutely certain about. Incredibly known. There's the cutscene. This game has... Uh, the cutscenes I've seen have been fantastic. One of them included the titular character peeing. Uh, it's been very amusing. Uh, okay, I got the map so I can look. I am the green thing. I have already done the left path. I want to take the bottom path. Because I want the bomb upgrade. And I'm going to guess there's a triple jump somewhere. Based upon the, uh, the stuff over there on the left. I do have the Sturgeon's Ring, which lets me stay underground forever. And once I find the WMDs in these... Oh god, it just... It's turtles all the way down. What about unknown, known, unknowns? Uh, those are... Things you thought you knew, but you're no longer certain. Let's go with that. I'm certainly I'm certainly confused at this point. All right, that thing. They throw their heads at me. How do I get over there? Um. Oh, I can just go place. No, I can't go place. All right, whatever. We'll go somewhere else. Yeah. We could not get more bombs here. Hmm. So satisfying. Oh, whoops. 
explain to you if a set of all sets contains itself. Oh man, it's been a long time since I've had to deal with weird edge cases and set theory. The list of lists that contain themselves, etc. I'm not going to think about that right now. I have to deal with platforming. Still satisfying. Oh, I can get up here. That's. Ooh, shiny. Okay, I can't do anything about that. Yeah, just actually taking time to reflect the projectiles properly makes all the difference. Did have a bit of other 2000s nostalgia today. My sister took me on a tour of the building she works in, which has some actual really nice art. Um, guess I can't really talk too much about it because I didn't let you guys know where she works, so I guess I won't tell you about that. But there were signs about uh, COVID levels. And those always kind of reminded me of the terror alert color levels they used to have. Like it's currently terror alert level blue. What does that mean? Not much. Nothing you could really do about Terror Alert Level Blue. Oh, it's gone to yellow? Alright, well, I'll keep doing what I was doing. Because that's about all you can do. It's a weird time. Can't go that way. Uh... Wait. Oh, why did those respawn, of all things? Okay, how do I... Get to there. I actually thought about using so there is a website where you can get terror alert levels that are based on Muppets. So like you change it to terror alert level Bert. And it's still up, bizarrely, but unfortunately, like the the shape that was something I didn't want to use there. Like I want to be able to download them and randomize them or something, and it just wasn't working. Well, what if that worked? I didn't think that would work. But yeah, it just it was a weird time. Well, that was a useful shortcut, I guess. But yes. Would have been cool, but it didn't, didn't work the way I hoped it would. Come on. Try again, buddy. Make my day. Come on. Now that I have it, I cannot not use it. It's better than using the gun, honestly. It's much more satisfying. Oh, I've got to get far enough away he stops procking so I can do this. And, oh. Let's stop being dumb right now. Also, shouldn't the gun makes you, like, rooted to the ground for a second? It's really weird. Probably not worth demonstrating in retrospect, but... And, of course, I have other ways of dodging projectiles now. I just need to remember to use them. Beautiful. to use the gun. Would have been so much more impactful. Or I meant to use the sword. No. Ah. Oh, I wouldn't have died anyway. That's fine. Way too paranoid there. Oh wait, no, no, no. Another idiosyncrasy of this game. The map doesn't uh, pause the game. So if you look at the map, things can, can and will hurt you. It's a very odd choice. I just have to power my way 
way through that. Oh, hello. Oh, not again! Those things always get me. I'm never prepared for them. Just like in real life. Okay. Cool. We made it here. That's where I meant to go. I think. Alright, well. That big shiny heart thing means there's probably a boss nearby. Because that's what it's meant so far with all of the other ones. Um, I think I will burn a bomb on this. There's... Maybe I'll need to look at the manual or something to understand why that works that way. But I still don't get what procs the bombs. It's so beautiful. Oh, hello. You know, I'm actually pretty close to being able to afford the, uh, the bomb upgrade. What? He, he didn't stop to shoot me. Bro, this, is, this whole projectile reflecting thing doesn't work unless you stop and let me shoot you with your own projectiles. Yeah, good enough. Well, look, it's a cloaked figure. What I like to have my paintings of. Kind of caught up to him all at once. Alright, that's worth. Rescued another one. Got more gun. Come on, turn around. Don't turn around. Kind of sad I don't get the cutscene. Maybe I need to like stand perfectly still if I want the cutscene. Oh, that's not solid. I guess I gotta go up there. Oh yeah, I haven't even touched my beverage. Oh, that was delicious. I'm gonna keep doing heavy things. Oh yeah, another buddy. All right, is that perfectly still? There we go, we've the cutscene. I think I'm just canceling them instantly. Why in the world would I go up there? And then sometimes when you attack these dudes, at least in the early game I had the problem where attacking them didn't always work. What? Oh, hey! Don't egg me on. Not sure. Okay, there's gotta be a way across that. Or a triple jump thing. Because there was another spot I saw where clearly a triple jump was necessary. Oh, we... Another potion. There doesn't appear to be a limit to the potion restoratives. That's a boss room, I'm pretty sure. I guess we'll just do the boss room, because that appears to be where to go. Could buy the bomb upgrade, but I'm not interested in backtracking for it right now. Hmm. Guess we have to talk to him first. You! You wicked wife thief! I'll kill you! You, you dirty saddest! I'll kill you first! Arrgh! Oh, I can still rock walk around during the cutscene. Oh. Come on, shoot me. Shoot me, bro. Oh. What? Didn't see that coming. Beautiful. I love this upgrade so much. 
do need to watch the chandeliers. So many bullets. Need to dodge the chandeliers. Properly epic fight. Except for the fact that this particular upgrade makes it trivial. <laughs> It probably sounds better in Polish. That it vaguely seems it sounds like he's saying epic yard. Oh, he finally got me. Good thing I have my health right here. I'm loving it. Timing has become lax. And I jumped right into it. Hmm. Oh, come on, come on. Victory! Goodbye, Count Von Zahn. Or whatever his name was. Doesn't really matter now, he's quite dead. I delivered bullet like the fella asked me to. I see treasure up there. I want that treasure. Let's see, what does the map say that treasure is? Oh, it's past that locked door. I feel like there's gotta be something in here. It's not. We'll check out this area. the keys are like area local no way it's here I see it illusion wall but there's a door to which I can see into it now I guess that's useful I kind of feel like I should be able to find my way in there where would I put a switch that affects that door Probably up here. Well, this could be its own secret. I don't think I can jump high enough unless I can jump on birds, which I don't think works. So I don't know where this key is supposed to be used. Unless it's that up there, which I didn't think was it. Well, let's see if I take the key with me through the door. Yep happening again. Oh, that's... In front of the castle, there is a carriage surrounded by soldiers. Danosik notices the Countess Von Zur with an unknown nobleman inside. The Countess calls from the carriage. What happened to my husband? Is he alive? Danosik shakes his head no. Danosik has the impression that a cold smile has passed over the Countess's face. So he was killed. Killed by the famous Genosic. Baron, what do you say? The Baron looks at Genosic piercingly and says, You killed a nobleman, a representative of power. Death is waiting for you. The Baron turns to the bald captain of the guard. Captain, capture this outlaw! Yes, sir, my lord Baron. Oh god, more gnarring. Uh, I don't want to be using the bombs. Oh, can I reflect that projectile? That'd be badass. Yeah, that was pretty badass. Not helpful, but badass. Well, I don't think these guys die. Let's go try bombs. Yeah. Ooh, that really hurt him. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I still got him! Huh? Oh. 
This thing is ridiculous. A twirl? Nope. Who said Madwee? Madib. He definitely said Madib. That's a killing word. It's the... What is the line there? It's where the moon meets something? I forget exactly. Anyway, what I'm saying is that the slow blade will be pen penetrating the shield. Oh god, they stabbed too. What's up, Risky Fondue? How you doing? It was time for... Oh god. Time for me to lose might be the answer here. Yes, please shoot the wall. For critters that just walk back and forth, I've gotten hit by those way too many times. I'm almost out of bullets. Alright, I'm out of bullets, I'm out of bombs. He, I don't know why he didn't do anything that phase. Okay, definitely supposed to hit him when he's doing his little temper tantrum. Oh no! I thought he goes a fixed distance and I screwed that up. Give me projectiles. I'm down to one health, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. How are these most of the stationary soldiers down, which is nice? You also get a little bit of invulnerability when you're attacking. It's kind of nice. Oh, crap. Get another punch in. Love the reflecting. That was the best upgrade I've gotten so far in this game. Thump. Keep them coming. It's always nice when I see the health bar actually go down. Projectiles definitely feel like they do more damage in this game. Nuts. Oh, this was before I killed the boss! I think. Ah, nuts. No, no, it's after I killed the boss. I walked through that bit. The other boss. What I learned there... Yeah, he's still dead. That's good. Alright, well... Mistakes were made. Uh, oh, 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 that's worth actually now. Let me backtrack a little bit. Because I realized I could buy the bomb upgrade so I'd have more bombs. Um, this is not the bomb place. The bomb place is one to the right of this place. And yes, I know it's doing that. That's just what the game does. It's a weirdly programmed game. Uh, it definitely has some other bugs. One of my personal favorites was I spent some time adjusting the volume before playing, and once I died, it reset all of the volume stuff, just because it does. Hey, psst. I love the hate pissed guy. Excellent. I wish you to blow up the count. Well, good news. Hey, already psst. done that. Why are you helping me? You are risking a lot. Let's say I want to get rid of the count as much as you do. The world will simply be more beautiful without him. I have a feeling you are using me for dirty work. Better tell me what you have for sale. Stranger smiles broadly and pulls out a beautifully carved hatchet. Hatchet? Beautiful. How much does such a miracle cost? 
700 coins. You buy? Unfortunately, you lack gold, my friend. Well, that's the next upgrade, is Hatchet. It's a shame, but it happens. Oh, right. I'm gonna save first. Oh, I, I think I pressed it one too many times and it transitioned a second time. <laughs> this game's still really cool, despite the weird bugs. Honestly. Oh, they're... Why did I do that? Alright, we already did all this. We must kill Genosk. 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 Genosik. There's lots of different pronunciations I found. This is not got off to a great start, I will be honest. And I just filled up on bombs, which I didn't mean to do before using them. Nah, this has not been a good plan. You guys are sharp. Yeah, okay, I'm just sandbags, so I can try again. I was a problem with this particular choice is oh wait I was like oh there's health right there no there's health right here one second all right one more shot at this and then I think I need to call it just been decreed. all right one more shot at this and then I think I need to call it just been decreed <laughs> Been decreed, unfortunately. But oh. oh, I have guns, right? Remember to use the gun. I get a lot of ammo for the gun. I can just get rid of some of these guys and get a little bit easier. And I just grabbed all the gun ammo. Quite what I meant to do. There. Oh. Okay. Now bombs. Be careful not to pick up the other bombs while we're doing this. It's just so funny the way he behaves. Drop a bomb. Oh, I don't have any bombs left. That's why I can drop a bomb. That's unfortunate. There, either option. Nuts. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. We did not get stabbed. That's all that I need, I need now. It's really making him to do a twirl right now. I said one more attempt, and that was one more attempt. Previously, on Genosic, um, we didn't beat this boss. Whoa, that's awkward. They really don't expect you to do this. Uh, but there was some unfinished business in this last area that I wanted to attempt to. Does it? I don't think you watched this last time. But I'm also not certain. Yeah, the uh, the big thing I got done today 
was I managed to make my life worse. Um, I finally got around to configuring... <laughs> Good call, Squiggles. Good call. Um, nuts. Where was I? Um, yeah, I configured Nginx to, uh, to push some information through. But, uh, it made life a bit worse, so I had to reconfigure Nginx. Didn't watch, and it was not because of ads, speaking of which I have some. Of course. I mean, it's very possible, like, some of the songs that were used in this are, like, old school something or other songs. That's the bomb. I'm not doing so well. I love the screen transitions, though. Aren't they beautiful? Uh, anyway, before I completely got off the, ra the trail, the rails, the trails, there's two things that remain interesting to me. One is how to get into this area up here. Which, I feel like there's got to be something here. Um, oh, it just kind of makes my hits things. Uh, and I looked online. I haven't seen a lot of, like, I didn't find any advice. This game has not been well trafficked. <laughs> Um, I did see some complaints from, uh, from people on, on the internet about the portrayal of Genosic, um, which is a bit odd, but, you know, some people care a lot about those sorts of things. Um, and there was one bit of advice from the dev for finding out that secret, and it's like, look for something that looks different. There we go. What does this button do? Oh, that swaps, okay. Okay. The rails, the trails, the rail trails. I've been on rail trails. They're adequate, frequently. Um, I want to figure out how to open the store. There's like three spots in this area I haven't been able to get into. Oh right, I forgot I can reflect bullets. Or I could just shoot people. Or hit people with the sword. Drive me closer! I want to hit them with my sword. But yeah, there's that right there. Oh, I have, like, health pots. You know, in retrospect, I should have used those health pots in that fight I had. That would have made killing the boss a lot easier, since I have a ridiculous number of them. But we try bombing. Also this. <laughs> it's useless, but fun. Perhaps I should. Abe, but perhaps not. I guess not. Hmm. We'll take a little while looking for this, but I don't know how likely it is I'm gonna figure it out. But there were like two other spots of interest. I just have to get to them first. I don't think this was the best way to get to them. But I love the reflection mechanic. I had to pay a lot of money for this. For the reflection mechanic, not the game. The game is one dollar. Or zero dollars on Steam. Um, and it's really quite cool. It's interesting. I've never had a Metroidvania where you pay for all of your upgrades. Like, that's what you do in this game, is you just give people money and they give you the upgrades. You kind of get to choose your upgrade path, which is weird. Um, and probably game-breaking in spots. Is this a door? No, it just happens to look like one. But uh, I paid good money for the reflection, and I'm happy with it. Reflect his DLC. No, 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 actual, not, not money, in-game money. See, I have three coins right now. Uh, I had a lot more earlier in the game. I no longer do. There's one thing I could still buy. And sometimes they kill each other, which is hilarious. Um, it's just, the one thing I could buy is a better axe, or an axe. But the Reflect was totally worth buying. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So, like, the first upgrade I got was the double jump. I had to pay a witch money for that, and then I got other things. Those do look like stairs. There's basically two spots in this game I have yet to figure out what the trick is for. This one... And another one. There we go. Uh, and the spot right next to it. Like, I really want the chest. Looks like it'd be worth it. But, I don't know how to get up there. I think that looking at this... That diamond right there, like, that area is a semi-solid, or not even solid. And another one! 
Yes. Uh, you're feeling cursive. How you doing, Noah? I feel like there's a trick. Can I? I cannot sprawling higher. Maybe I roll can I get higher? No. Maybe one of these is a fake brick. No. Maybe one of these is a fake brick. I feel like I could make this jump. No, that's solid. I might just have to be wondering what's up with that forever at this rate. Oh, I got a message I need to look at really quick. Oh. Oh, boy. There we go. Ready to respond to that. Good news is, is that uh, I will get a specific change I want out, out tonight, which is good. I'll have to, I'll get to stop being a human cron job. Uh... Yeah, TTS is working. Getting it to work was irritating because I decided I wanted to take a service that handled an awful, an awful lot of things um, and move it so that it's behind an HD access basic auth thing, which would make my life better. Uh, but I didn't think about how this would affect all of the TTS playing, which was a bad call. So I had to do some last minute fixes up and poke another hole in it, but it's fine for what it is. It worked out. Just took some doing. I love the glass noise. Oh, hello. Well, that's a cool secret to find. Wait. I forgot, I have a map. Alright, so that isn't solid. That's good to know. The map often tells you things other parts of the game don't. So, none of this helps me. Apparently there's 5,000-ish gold in this game, some of which is behind this friggin' door. Um, and I can't figure out how to get any of it. I should try hugging more walls. Is that an option in other places? I'm gonna go around. And yes, I know the screen transition looks nuts. That's just how the game works. I haven't played this in like a week. It's easy to forget things when you don't play them for like a week. Um, I feel like what I should be looking for is a bombable surface somewhere. There's like two secrets I want to find. If I can't find them, I'm just going to say nuts would beat the boss. Or is it? Hard to say. Hard to say. Um... But yeah, I picked this game up because I played the sequel to PAX. Gotta sleep? Alright, see you later, man. Yeah, I played the game of uh, the sequel to PAX for a little bit, the demo. And this seems cool enough that I really wanted to give another shot. Wait, do I get pushed back if I jump on one of these critters? No, you just fall through them. That yeah, just kills them. This thing right there looks suspicious to me. Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, no, it's pretty short. Uh, I think my playthrough, including trying to find dumb things, is probably about three hours and change. The first boss is surprisingly irritatingly difficult. Other than that, though, it's a pretty fair game. Anyway, I sleep while I'm at. But once you realize that you get um, a small amount of immunity, when you're swinging your act or your sword, it helps a lot. Okay, bomb. Oh, you could do that. Huh. Nope. Well, it's not money, so it doesn't really matter to me that much, but I do kind of wonder if you can actually get up there. It's about to say, you know, you could do it in the sequel, but this game won't use the same geometry for the sequel. Oh, 
look, is there any like dead endish area that I didn't think about looking into? Maybe some of the towers. Part of the problem is like, I've already rescued most of the dudes. I think maybe even all the dudes. And so it's hard to know what's a dead end and what isn't now. But could, always good to use some, some projectile reflecting practice in. Jumped into that one. There we go. Come at me, dog. Yeah, I think I might have needed to have figured this out while I was still in this area the first time. Because I don't see any obvious way to get up. I keep hitting the wrong map button. I don't see any obvious way to get up either of those spots. Which is a bummer, because I really wanted to complete the whole thing. Alright. Like, I do wonder if maybe I'm missing an upgrade? Maybe, maybe the axe would let me stick to the walls or something? If I picked that up instead of more bullets, that might have been smart. Who knows? Alright. Well, I think that'll have to be a mystery for next time. Go see this boss. Save at the boss door. Skip over this, because I've already read it. Oh, I love this guy. Oops. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. I am not good at this fight. In fact, I've already screwed it up because I've burned all my bullets. Wait, no I haven't. I always get more health. Forgot about that. And I already got rid of my bullets. His name is a killing word. I love how they'll jump over it. It does have a little bit of clunky bits. Switch. Well, he got me there. Huh, that didn't disable him. It's a lot easier now that I'm more awake. Ah! It's such a classy noise. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I'm just gonna cheat it. I'm glad I cheated it. Alright, Grom. And Grom explodes. These people are still here, though. I don't know why. Huh. Sheep? Can I interact with sheep? I've already freed all my comrades. Should I finish my adventure? No! I still have a few unfinished interests here and there. Be back in a bit. Okay, so one, these guys can still stab you while you're talking to the sheep. Um, I'm gonna save just in case I end up caring about that. I'm kind of surprised they didn't all like wander off when their boss died, but let us wander off with the sheep now, I guess. What a great adventure it was. Now it's time for me to join my comrades. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I love the animations in this. Dance party ending! And I guess that's it. It was a cool little game. I definitely will play the sequel when it comes out, I think. Especially if it works on Mac OS as well as it works here. Which is to say, mostly. Mostly. Um, but it worked well enough. Well enough to finish the game. And that's mostly what I wanted to do. The resizing was weird, but I, you know, I bet I'll fix it in the next version. 
think he's got a lot more like dev support for the next iteration of this. <laughs>